afternoon, ladies and gents, and you join me from inside the Museum of London, and we're going to be stepping back in time into a little dark piece of London's history that was located near the Tower of London. And we're going to kind of hear the voices and see the images of past Londoners. The well closed square prison cell, the prison cell form part of a small courthouse and house of detention situated just east of the Tower of London. Many of the prisoners were insolvent debtors to pass the time of day. They scratched their names, words, dates and images onto the cell's wooden walls. And that is what we're going to go and see now. This is an entire cell that was obviously preserved and taken apart and now lives here. It will be going to the new museum. Edward Burke. His name appears several times. Edward Burke again. 1757. 1757. John Nollian. K N O W L L I O M N. So, bearing in mind that people are a little bit of uh, Knowles. A little bit illiterate back then, somewhere anyway. DBM 1750 plus, and then it looks like a, an R. Yeah, this one is uh, kind of concentric pattern or whatnot carved into it. But yeah, there's so many names carved into these walls and images. This is a very little, inter a very interesting one that I wanted to do a specific piece on. I can't make out all of the inscriptions, so if you can uh, make some of them out. Edward Stockley. And there's a little house above that. So many look. Edward Murphy. Thomas Lynch. Pray remember. James Parks. Edward Ray, December ye 2nd, 1758. your window up there, quite high up. There's a house carved on this one. Another house. Patterns and designs and all sorts. And this is the door, the prison door. There, look. A M A R R F P. More houses. 
and uh, most of the people were imprisoned here for debt, they were debtors. And this one I found quite touching, it's got the cupboards empty to our sorrow, but hope it will be full tomorrow. It's very early one there, look, 1567. Didn't notice that one when I came the other day. So I've just taken a screenshot picture of that. And there's more houses here, look. Lots of them carved in with the initials below or above. So it does make you wonder if this were the views that they were seeing from their cell, or if these were the homes that they came from. TP. It's a bit dark over these, over some of these bits. And that's like a row of houses there. So you know, that you've got that could be a church spire that they're seeing. Houses with all the initials and stuff carved in there. Let's see if that comes out. Oh, that's better. I forget that this fan is pretty decent, so it copes well with light. What's that? There's something scratching my leg. Must be saying in my jeans. I'll check. Walked past some foliage stuff earlier in a churchyard, so it's probably one of them itch ball things stuck on me. They actually show up better without the light. Parent. And that ladies and gents is a little smidge of London's slightly dark history for you. John Nolium and then he's obviously he's tried to do his name in Latin but couldn't do it and then to put Knowles. John Knolium but has done it in Knowles. That's 1757. And then he's put 1757 again there. So you can trace some of the stories and things through. It's very interesting. Anyway, I hope you all found that interesting. If you did, give it a like and a shout.